and Hathor to hear the account of Konshu. You've been banished once for nearly exposing us, Honshu. Banish has two meanings. First, it means to send someone away and prevent them from returning. How does it differ from ban? Basically, ban would apply to any situation in which someone is forbidden from taking part in something. Banish, on the other hand, applies when someone is forced to leave a place. The second meaning of banish is to completely eliminate something, get rid of something. Now, let us check out some examples. He was banished from court. Their mission is to banish war forever. They were banished from the library for making a noise. What's the kind of noise? <laughs> we cannot condone Dr. Psycho's use of the C word, as it does not represent our brand of evil. We hereby banish him from the Legion of Doom. Legion of Doom Europe and the Junior Doomers of America. Which made sense to Jane. So she vowed to banish her doubts. And you know we despise your garishness. Garishness is tasteless showiness. And then what is showiness? We'll discuss it later. Your showy masks and weapons. Showy is an adjective. That means getting a lot of attention by being very colorful or bright, but lacking any real beauty. Today, I will talk about the adverb and noun forms of this word. Showly means doing things in a way that is intended to be noticed or to attract attention. Showiness is the quality of trying to be noticed or to attract a lot of attention. Let's put them in context. Her dress was too showy for such a formal event. Really? But I think her face is showier. <laughs> the waiter surely held the bottle by the bottom while pouring, but he had clearly not mastered the technique. His singing style is completely devoid of showiness. Today's to-do list includes a trip to the Mall of America, where we are going to be buying outfits for the physical fitness member. Nothing too showy. No, you bet, Iris. Is it necessary for him to drive it so showily? That's so annoying. And it never would have happened if the wedding had been inside the church with God instead of out here in the cheap showiness of nature. But manipulate the sky again and we will imprison you in stone. Spare me your self-righteous threats! We know that. Spare is an adjective. If something is spare, it is available to use because it is extra. For example, spare time, spare key, spare tire. Vice president is a spare president. <laughs> But here, spare is a verb. Let's explore it in detail. The first meaning is not to hurt or destroy something or someone. We have lost everything, but thank God. Our lives have been spared. The second meaning, if you spare someone an unpleasant experience, you prevent them from suffering it. Luckily, I was spared the embarrassment of having to dance in front of everyone. If you spare time or another resource for a particular purpose, you make it available for that purpose. She said that she could only spare $100 for me. My only hope was that this news would see you retreat, Sultan. 
spare yourselves. Spare us all. No one need ever know the truth. You've spared the kingdom a great deal of embarrassment. And I should like to keep it that way. I suppose we can spare an hour. What? You're gonna bucket list with me? Self-righteous. If you describe someone as self-righteous, you disapprove of them. Because they are convinced that they are right in their beliefs, attitudes, and behavior. And that other people are wrong. Spare us from your self-righteous nonsense. A self-righteous person will wage war, while a self-giving person will maintain peace. What does self-giving mean? Self-giving means to sacrifice oneself or one's interest for others. He said you're one of the smartest guys he's ever met. Oh. But you're too good for your own good. Is that even a thing? What does that mean? Ah, uh, moralistic, self-righteous. Those were his words. I was banished for not abandoning humanity unlike the rest of you.